one basic principle in economics is division of labor. In the not too distant past, everyone relied on themselves. Each family grew their own food, made their own clothes, and built their own houses. In a lot of ways, that was inefficient. Each person had to learn to do all of those jobs. And well, some of us are just better at doing some jobs than our neighbors. Some of us like doing some tasks better, so we do not mind mastering them. For instance, I hire someone to mow my lawn. It makes sense to divide up the jobs or to specialize. In early towns in the United States, we began to see labor specialists emerge, like bakers, harness makers, and seamstresses. As factories were built, jobs became more specialized. Henry Ford built the Model T on assembly line, job specialization principles. Adam Smith believed that the standard of living of a nation could rise only if the productivity of labor rose. As each person specialized, the group, such as the United States as a nation, could accomplish more. That specialization brought our society from an agricultural society to an industrialized nation with a high standard of living. Just look at what we accomplished from 1900 to 2000. We went from horse and buggy to airplanes. Early telephones had to be cranked to reach an operator. Today, we have cell phones that surf the internet. Now that is what I call an improved standard of living.